and I think the the million dollar bond should come in pennies. All pennies. I just want justice for my son. Newly released reports tonight describe the murder of DPS trooper Tyler Edenhofer shot by a suspect that was reportedly throwing rocks at cars along I-10 in the West Valley. And these reports also describe how two other troopers nearly lost their lives in a struggle with the suspect. Carissa Planalp is joining us now live in studio with the details. Carissa. Yeah, guys, about almost 3,000 pages in this report here describes how three troopers uh, got into that chaotic fight for their lives on the side of the freeway. One of them, a very young trooper wrapping up training. He was shot once when DPS says the suspect grabbed his training officer's gun. There's a lunatic on the freeway. He threw like a handful of rocks at my car and oncoming traffic. A flurry of 911 calls about a man throwing rocks at cars on I-10 near Dysart. He threw something on my windshield. He shattered it in a couple pieces. Trooper Tyler Edenhofer arrives with his instructor, Trooper Sean Rodacap, to back up Trooper Dalen Doris. The three wind up on the ground struggling with suspect Isaac King. He was still fighting with us, and then all of a sudden, I heard a pop, says Rodacap in an interview transcript. I thought somebody tased him. I realized it all started processing. Oh, my God, that's not a taser. That's a gun. Rodacap goes for his holster, but there was nothing there. King now points the gun at him, says Rodacap. The trooper lunged forward to grab it back. He can see trooper Edenhofer bleeding. The 24-year-old collapsed, fell to the ground. Transcripts show trooper Doris didn't seem to know he'd been hit, too. Do we have him in custody? He is resisting. He is resisting. Transcripts show trooper Doris didn't seem to know he'd been hit, too. Doris continues to fight King, who reportedly tells the trooper, just shoot me. It's not until after Doris gets King inside a patrol car that his shoulder started to burn on fire. He tells someone, I think I've been hit. Trooper Edenhofer did not survive his injuries. He was rushed to the hospital and died. Well, these records show that an Avondale officer told investigators that King had been released from a mental health facility months before this deadly shooting. King has pleaded not guilty, and so far a trial has not yet been set. Guys, back to you.